Hi, in this video, I am going to cover the rendering mechanism of Vue.js because it's different from React.js and other frameworks and actually that is the selling point of Vue.js. So, if you look at something like React.js, which is very popular, there is a runtime operation that is in place and the role of the runtime operation is to take actual HTML nodes and then convert that to a virtual DOM or then render it as a actual DOM. So whenever there is a change in your HTML element, this process of happening, converting that HTML, those HTML elements into actual DOM or through a virtual DOM is a one step process. It doesn't do anything like adding intelligent instructions. So every time there is any change anywhere in the code, then it goes from top to bottom and just starts rendering it. Obviously, there is some kind of re, some diffing or finding difference between the actual human written code or the HTML code and the DOM that's rendered finally in the browser. But then, the idea is here is the runtime doesn't do any upfront calculations to say based on its previous rendering process that these are the changes only I need to concentrate. It's just a brute force operation that is same every time. But in something like in Vue.js, the main part is there is a compiler step or a compilation step and then a runtime step which is called as rendering. And that's done by the renderer, which happens at runtime. But the compiler plays an active role. And the compiler is very native to Vue.js because it knows about each and every node. And it creates a virtual node for the whole DOM. So virtual DOM has multiple virtual nodes. And then first time, there is a mount process where the virtual DOM is rendered on the browser. So this is called mount process. If you remember, the core concept of Vue.js is reactivity, where the data properties attached to the HTML element react whenever there is a change in the property. That information is also available in the virtual DOM as to these are the dynamic properties or these are the properties that will change in future. So when a change is triggered or when a change happens, the virtual DOM is so smart because it knows which places to change. It triggers just those onto the actual DOM or the one that is rendered in the browser. So this reactivity in Vue.js is very useful for re-rendering because the renderer is very strong in doing comparison between two different DOMs. Now, the compiler is also playing a crucial role in case of Vue.js and it is native to Vue.js. So, it does compile time optimizations or in other words, you write your code as or as a template and the template has HTML elements. So, this HTML code is converted to render function code. The render function code is a first level code or more dynamic code and that has compiler optimizations as well as compiler directives. So what is compiler directive is nothing but instructions by the compiler to the actual runtime or the renderer to as to what to concentrate, what to keep an eye on. You can think of it as the dynamic bindings or something that has a binding. So it tells the virtual DOM, hey, take care of these things when you're rendering next time. And it also tracks which ones has undergone change and only that it patches to the actual DOM. It doesn't start from the top to bottom like how it happens in React to React JS, sorry, in React JS, but it knows which ones to concentrate concentrate which virtual nodes to concentrate on and then just render those. There is also a concept called tree flattening that comes into picture 
which is nothing but the compiler in the, the compiler when it generates the virtual dom it also knows which one is static node and which ones are dynamic nodes a static node could be something like a div tag or a h1 tag which has a title so that won't change and that is done as a static hoisting from the html element directly to the actual dom or the one that's there in the browser so it's like it knows what are the dynamic ones and concentrates one those fragments on those fragments rather than the one that is static static is never touched but then the dynamic ones or that has colon bind or sorry v hyphen bind those are the tags that will be checked and reactively updated in the actual dom so that's tree flattening where there is a differentiation between the static v nodes and the dynamic v nodes v nodes are nothing but they are part of the virtual dom and that becomes the actual node or rendered into the actual dom so this whole process speeds up the optimization and the re-rendering process of vue.js compared to a framework like react.js hope this was useful thank you